Bing, bang, bong. <laughs> UK hub. I got you vegan nuggets. I can tell they're vegan, I can smell it. So aren't chicken nuggets just like the rubbish parts of the animal they put into a chicken nugget? Ears, lips and bum holes. They don't put the bum hole of a chicken in a chicken nugget. How do you know? Do Chickens you don't have bum holes. <laughs> what do they, how do they do the toilet? Chickens don't have bums. Okay. I've seen chickens twerk. When did you first get into drag? When I first moved to London, I went out in Soho in something that would not resemble my drag now. H&M dress. <laughs> it wasn't really drag. It was more like gendery, kind of seeing what was going on. I come from a small town. It was a bit like, well. And in 2017, I entered the lip sync competition as Bimini, and that was when I started and no one stopped me. Do you like my shoes? Oh my God. I thought I'd um, dress up for you. I would love a pair. Get them. Okay. Ten inches. Ten inches? I mean, these do recommend that you don't walk in them. So, right, so what are you meant to do? Just sit down. Sit down, sit down yeah. So it'd be good if you had a desk job. Mm-hmm. Have you ever had a dating disaster? Yes, I have. My ex-boyfriend. <laughs> Just the whole relationship? The whole relationship. Absolute disaster. Oh dear. What about you? I haven't had a second date yet, but I'm positive. I've got my positive PMA. mind. Mental attitude. Mental attitude. Drake follows me on Instagram. Really? Not a joke, just a fact. Not a joke, just a fact. Why did you decide to go on Drag Race UK? I was bored. No, no, not really. I just, yeah, wanted to give it a go. And like, I was working as a drag queen. It's kind of like, when it came to the UK, it was quite shocking for the scene of drag, because it was like, wow, what's going to happen? Like, we kind of watched it and it was very successful. So I just wanted to apply. And then they put me on the first, the first time I did it. Did you think you were going to get on? No. No. I had a dream that I got on season three and I always believed that I'm a bit psychic and obviously I was way off. I'll always give it a go. Like I'll throw myself into everything. Is there anything you wouldn't do? Well, it depends how far we're going. There are things, obviously, I would not do. Would you jump off a very high rock into the sea? Oh, yeah, I've done that. Okay. Yeah. Would, go a bit harder than that. Would this. you go on a roller coaster? Yes. Have you been on a roller coaster? Before? Yes. Would, I'm trying to think of something crazy. I like that that's the like craziest thing you can think of. <laughs> <laughs> Would you go to Mars if they asked you? No, absolutely not. No. I, I, I just want to go on, I would like to go to Greece. Yeah. <laughs> What's your dating app bio? Bimini Bomb Bottom. I like to speak to the universe. Does it speak back to you? Sometimes. What's it saying now? Could you just ask it a question? I can't, like, there's too much, there's too much chicken going on. Have you ever thought about being um, the Prime Minister? Uh, yeah, all the time. What would you do if you were Prime Minister? I would fund the NHS more, and then I would make sure that everyone looked glam at all times. What does it take to be a drag queen? It takes a whole lot of nerve. You've got to be a bit, bit deluded and you've got to believe in yourself. Mm -hmm. So that's a fine line between delusion and believing in yourself. Where are you on that line? F fully deluded. What's that? I just, sorry, I just, that, the, the ketchup. <gasps> it's chilli sauce. Do you think this summer is going to be the summer of love? Yes. I would absolutely hope it is. Do you? I hope so too. I never want to be at home again. <laughs> I literally want to be out all the time. Yes, I'll be outside. I'm just going to be running around with a suitcase.
apparently are quite bendy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> 